We're here today to do a service call for a client. We're concerned that they may have grubs eating up on their yard. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look for the signs of grubs. So the first thing that we're going to look for is we're going to find some of the areas that are thinner or don't have uh, the grasses that seem to be growing very well. And we're going to do what I call a tug test. And that basically we're going to see if the grass freely comes from the ground. What happens is grubs will eat the roots of the grass. And so if they've damaged the grass, the grass will just pull right up like a doormat. So let's take a look. Kind of see here, right? There's not really, it's not really tugging out. This would just, it would just pull over. So oftentimes what happens is um, in the springtime, we've had kind of up and down temperatures. We've had it warm enough at times for the grass to start greening up but it hasn't stayed consistently warm to where we get a full blown green out. And you can kind of see in this yard right here, this section here where it's shaded, obviously it's not gonna warm up as quickly. And so we still have a lot of grass that hasn't poked up yet. If there were groves in the yard, we would see them just like right underneath the grass, like mm -hmm. right there in that area. I don't want to tug too hard and pull up, you know, healthy grass. And it shouldn't really. This is probably the reasoning right here. You see it's kind of chlorotic. It's, it doesn't have the green color. Typically that's from an iron deficiency. And it looks like it has got a little disease in it. This is actually from more than likely a couple of years ago when we had Nigrosporia stolen rot. This is all dead right here. And it's still healthy right here. The roots are still in place. So I don't believe. Um, I don't see any signs of grubs or grub damage. I believe what happened here is we have a combination of drought stress from last year and stolen rot, which was that uncurable disease. We do a little bit of fertilizer and we'll do a little bit of a uh, fungicide. See. Since we're not like doing a big giant application, we're just gonna use a little trusty hand spreader. I'm gonna use, so normally when we do our preventative fungicide, uh, this might be a little more in depth. We do one type of fungicide, it's called a propiconazole and so I have a separate fungicide this one right here called heritage it's a different active ingredient we're doing this purely as a preventative um because I'm not seeing any active disease right now I'm just seeing a lot of disease damage from last season all right so we got finished treating and didn't sign it, see any signs of grubs which is a good thing um happy that we don't have that uh, we did see signs of previous disease damage. So just as a pure precautionary preventative, we went ahead and did a fungicide on the yard, to try to prevent any future de disease from propping up because um, we do know the yard is prone to that. I'm gonna recommend that the customer waters it in. And unfortunately, some of the really damaged areas in the back, he's just gonna have to resaw it. 